Good morning, friends. I hope you are doing well. My name is Fine. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Java in Amazon Windows 2023. So, I have written a blog on this topic. So, basically, how you can install Java and run a simple hello world over there. So, let's get started. So I'm in my EC2 uh, dashboard and I'm going to create a new instance. So let's do that. Launch instance. We are going to choose Amazon Linux 2023. There is a new uh, Linux version released by Amazon. And it is based on Fedora. Shockingly, it's not CentOS because Traditionally, Amazon Linux was based on CentOS. Initially, it was CentOS 6, then CentOS 7. I was expecting CentOS 8, but now it's Fedora. Okay. So, uh, Java install. I give a name of the instance, and then uh, here, by default, you will see that Amazon Linux 2023. Don't be confused with Amazon Linux 2 because this is different. Amazon Linux 2 and 2023, it's not the same. It's not the latest version of Amazon Linux 2, but it's in a different uh, kind of uh, version. However, however, most of the commands are similar. It's not different. My plan is to install Java, and uh, for that, I need a uh, uh, small, should be fine. It's small. And then I will choose uh, here, and then let's use any of the existing security groups that can be used to there. Yeah. So these are the basic things. If, if you are subscribed to my channel, you already know these things, and uh, just choose an EC2 IM role for EC2 SSM. So this will give you access to connect to your instance from the browser. So that's really helpful. You don't need to expose your code to the external world. So to summarize, I'm going to use Amazon Linux 2023, D3 small and uh, eight weeks of fixes space. That's good, launch instance. So while it's launching, let's discuss what we are going to do. First, we are going to update the DNF, like yam update, it's DNF update, it's just basically the same. Then what we're going to install is uh, Java 17, Amazon for a protocol. So uh, you might ask why you are installing this because we are inside AWS uh, Linux. So it's, they have given a Java version. So I'm just going to use that. There are some other ways you can try. I am not sure whether they will work or not, but this definitely works because I have uh, found that from their official website that this is the version. So they in the official website, they specify this uh, package, but you want to install use the devil as well if you need the uh, Java compiler. So uh, let's go to the details of the instance and uh, is it ready? I think so. We have spent more than one minute. So it should be ready by now. Yeah, I think it's ready. Let's go to connect. And go to the session manager. Yeah, connect button is available. So, uh, if you are subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you are not subscribed yet, and uh, I will create more interesting videos in coming days. So, uh, then uh, we are logging to our uh, our server. We are now in the system. I'm going to uh, go to root privilege, so, so BSU, and then um, just copy pasting the commands. There is mm, literally, you don't have to do anything else. So then uh, there is no um, new updates. That means we are already updated at this version. Next, um, we are going to run this command. And uh, here, on this, you get an option of what you're installing. You're installing Java 17, Amazon Core to Devil, and there are some different devices. Looks like okay. Yes. yes. You can search with Google that what is uh, means. 
then you will see what is Amazon. It is spelled correctly. Four it, four it to seventeen. Four it. But anyway, Amazon Lux, Amazon four it to seventeen is no cost multi platform production ready distribution of the Open Java Development Kit or Open JDK. For it to 17 comes with long-term support includes performance enhancement and security fixes. For it to 17 is certified as compatible with the Java is standard and used internally at Amazon for many production services. So uh with Perfect 17, you can develop and run Java applications on open source or something else too. This is Mac OS, blah 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 blah. So this is basically a open JDK which is being managed by WS. Kind of a Secured way to use uh, this thing. Uh, okay, the installation is done. Let's clear my screen. The next thing is taking the Java version. I think that's I don't need to copy this thing. No. Avoid typing mistakes. So open the ticket 17, uh, blah, blah, blah. All those things are looking good. Now let's see Java C. So we have um, oh. C -ish. version Java C and so That's good. Now clear the screen and make a hello world. So I mostly use BI, but now I have even nano I try. I'm, I'm mostly using the AI. So uh this is this is a hello world, basic hello world, nothing fancy, just simple hello world, nothing else. So now we compile it with Java C and if the compilation works well then Java and Hello World. And that's it. This is this is your hello world inside Amazon Linux technology. So so far so good. If you have come to this part, then congratulations. You have already installed um, uh, Java on Amazon Linux 2023. That being said, uh, that's it for today. A lot of you guys requested to show me how to install Java on Amazon Linux 2023, and here it is. You can install anything that is dependent on Java and like Kafka or whatever it is. So that being said, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I will get more videos and hit a like and thumb and thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.